Hey, 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 everyone. Hope all is well. I am about to um, get in contact. Elmer is down in my office. I'm about to put some lipstick on real quick. He is down in my office, and we are about to find out if he passed the real estate exam. Um, many of us saw where um, he, you know, he filed my $10,000 check. Hold on one second, guys. And, um, and, you know, God put it on my heart to bless him. And I did that. And so he just finished with the real estate exam. And I am about to find out if he passed this exam or not. And, um, hold on. And he's waiting for me. So go ahead, share this video, please. Share this video. We're about to find out, um, if he passed his exam. And he's waiting for me. So go ahead, share this video. And you remember, for those of you, he found my check. I wanted to change his life. Is there such thing as compassion? And that God gives us um, a, a level of compassion that we need to have one for another. And um, because of what he did for me and because he did the right thing when he didn't have to. And there are many people who um, have opportunities to do the right things, but they haven't done the right things. Um, there are many people like that. But then there comes Elmer, Elmer Alvarez. And Elmer did the right thing when he filed my check for over $10,000. And um, as you know, I made sure that he was had housing. And I made sure that he had training. And it actually came from Facebook Live, the recommendation that I teach him to fish. And so in teaching him to fish, I um, put him through my real estate school. And you could go back and look at the original video back on November 8th where I was like, yes, I'm going to teach him how to fish. And so thank you so much to my Facebook family for coming along this journey with me and also having a level of compassion. So we are about to go and open up this certificate. I know, you know, I hope he passed. I know he worked very hard. He has some trials. And, of course, it was an obstacle to um, try to um, do. You know, it's hard when you go back to school regardless if for any adult. And then to have English not be your first language and then to um, to to take on, um, you know, English, again, not being your first language and then to take on this class, you know, was huge. It's huge. So he worked very hard. I know he sacrificed and we're about to find out what happened. OK, so let's see. Share this video. Share it. to go right now. All right. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey how are you? Doing? I'm doing fine. Hold on one second. Hey, honey, how are you? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Oh, how's everything today? Everything's good. All I'm right. fine. You have um, the stuff for him? Yep. Where is it? Where is I'm about to uh, turn. You know, no, you can't turn it sideways? No. Okay. Yeah. How you doing? <laughs> I'm all right. How you doing? Have a seat. Sorry about that. Okay. Uh, what do you need? I spoke to um, Shirley, and um, she told me how, and you know, we spoke and kept in contact too, but she told me how, you know, you worked hard and how, you know, there were some obstacles and things that you had to do, so it made it harder for yeah. you. But, yeah, hard, but I'm glad, I'm glad that I made it through, you know. Mm -hmm. That's God, and Shirley. She's a great teacher. Oh, isn't she? Oh, my God. I love Shirley. She's phenomenal. She's a great teacher, you know, when I was understand, when I, just things that I couldn't understand, mm -hmm. and then the way
least she was breaking it down and delivering it to like to us. Mm -hmm. It was amazing. Because mm -hmm. she was able to like give examples and stuff like that. Yes. Oh yeah, I love her. Yes. She's phenomenal. Yes. She's, she made it so easier for me. Yeah. yeah. And how how was it with the studying? Because you, we had books in English. Was it harder? Well, at the beginning, it was kind of hard mm -hmm. at the beginning because there was words that I couldn't understand, but I didn't know that I, um, there was a, a glossary in the back, uh. that, uh, an index and all that stuff in the back, you know, that I could go and check the um, for the um, what for the definition of mm -hmm. what they mean, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And at the beginning, it was kind of hard because I couldn't understand. I used to break it down for me, and then I was like, oh, okay. And then when Shirley, I think it was Shirley, the one that told me that there was that I could have checked in the back mm -hmm. and it was and that made it so easier for me mm -hmm. yes so you know like the the best thing is that you learned a lot right and and you're getting closer to your steps and I know Shirley explained to you that even if you didn't pass that you mm -hmm. could take the test over yes. right all right yes. so n no matter what happens when I flip this over right yes if you don't pass we just gonna take it over right yeah. Cause what? So I'm you're not giving I, up. You're not. See, that's what I'm trying to give me I'm not giving up. You're not giving just, up. No, I'm not giving up. I'm just continuing. You know, um, I'm not continuing. But there's people who give up, and like, what? Why are you saying you won't give up? I won't give up because I believe there's a purpose of this. Of, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, there was a reason for me to find that check. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm sorry to bring this. No, no, this no. Subject talk to talk up, about it. You know, but um, there's a reason for it. Um, I found a niece. Oh yes, yeah, you found your niece. I found Lord my niece mercy. That, yeah. Um, but that was that just we great. didn't even know, you know. Yeah. Um, and now um, your mom. I, my mom, see my mom, my sister, and you know all the good things that came with it, you know. Um, I earned a friendship, you yeah. know. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up because I know this is a blessing from God, from, and I'm not, mm -hmm. I'm not trying to let him down mm -hmm. or let myself down either. Yeah. You know, I um, I put some gold on my, on my, on my, on my in my mind. You know, I put some gold in my mind. You know? yeah. <laughs> when you have it, here, it's just like yes. It's, it's and that's what you know. What that's what I like to to share with people, and I teach people that. And we didn't even have time to. I haven't talked mindset things, but um, you're talking about exactly what I teach when we talk about the power of a mindset where when you fixate and you, you really have your mind on this certain thing that it's nothing can get in your way. Even if it gets in your way, you like run it over, you become yeah. relentless. And, and that's an awesome way to approach life because too many of us run into problems and then we fall down and we stay down instead of figuring out. Uh, one, what do we have to learn from this? Two, like I really can't be in control of my destiny as so long as I put God first, and you know, and it doesn't matter where you are, all right? So, who want to do this, me or you? I don't know. I'm kind of <laughs> nervous. Just see me. I did. Uh. I want. You know, I, you want to do it or you want? want I don't know. You do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we agree that even if this is not, you you need. You know what you need to pass, right? What grade you need to pass? 70. 70, okay. Or greater. So even if it's not a 70 or greater, we're not going to be upset, right? No, we, I'm just going to push forward. I'm just going to keep going. Okay. Like I say, I'm still stuttering. I still got my books right next to me, and I'm still Good. stuttering. That, that means that I'm gonna get, whatever gonna happened that. here, I'm coming back. Yeah, and then if this is a 70 or greater, then um, you know you continue to study because you have one more test to take. Yes. And then you can join Team Outreach. And yes. we're gonna put you to work. Yes. And we're gonna make you make some of those commission checks like the That's one you right. found, right? <laughs> That's right. That's the end result, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Me or you? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, <laughs> what is? Ah! <laughs> uh, Let me see. I want to know. Now I want to know. Congratulations. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. 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 Thank you very much. There you go. That's one. That's one. I still got.
gotta go for the <laughs> other one. Yes. Yes, but this is. Oh my God! Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. I am. I don't even got words. Just like, <laughs> just, wow. Yes. Wow. <laughs> I can't believe it. You see, whenever you put your mind into something, um, no matter what happens, you know, no matter, there's going to be obstacles. Um, I went through a lot in the meantime that I was taking the class. Um, there were some obstacles that, that was making it kind of hard for me. Sometimes I thought about giving up, but then I remember about the promise that I made to myself, and I say, no, I'm not gonna let nobody put me down like that, you know, or take me out, you know. Um, this is what I got on my mind, and this is what I want, so I'm gonna go, and I'm gonna go hard for it. And this is the result, <laughs> my people. This is the result. Thank you, thank you, Roberta. Oh my gosh, I'm so proud of you. Thank you I'm very so much. Proud of you. I'm Thank so you. proud I'm of you. I'm gonna continue it. Well, like I say, I'm gonna continue it. Reading my books, and after that, I, I know, I know, I got another test, mm -hmm. which is the big test. The big one. And, and so, what we're gonna do is we are going to schedule your big test. Um, we will cover. I'll cover the, the cost for your big test for you. Thank you very much. And um, we're gonna get. We're gonna have um, June work with you afterwards and, and schedule the time. But in between the time and now, and when you go to that test, that you have to make sure you study, 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 study. Okay. So you will. do see that, right? I will. So we we this is right there. So we need it to. We need Upgrade. you to. Yes. yes. All right. Yes. All right. Yes. Thank you very much. You're very Thank welcome. you, my people. And thank everybody. Uh, uh, thank you, Shirley. <laughs> yes. I love watching. Thank you, Shirley, for making it so easier for me. And thanks everybody in, in, in my class. Mm -hmm. It was so it's, it's um, a great class. You know, everybody was awesome. Thank you, Dewey, for yeah. your help. You helped me a lot, Dewey. Thank you a lot. Appreciate everything you did. Thank you. <laughs> love it i just absolutely love it so june you can please you know get what he needs so that um we can make sure he gets to the next step so that he can become team outreach now he is elmer is about to become a real estate professional he is about to work for outreach realty services and say hablas espanol yes sir <laughs> <laughs> and so listen if you are about to buy a house and say hablas espanol you love elmer and elmer's story um, be one of the first on his list to, to help. He'll help you, of course, with my guidance, help you to become a homeowner. Yes, you want to tell them in Espanol how you help them? Um, <laughs> a todos los que quieran comprar casa, y eh, que vean mi historia, que le encante mi historia, ¿tú me entiendes? Que um, estén, quieran comprar una casa, pues no, no lo piensen. Mm -hmm. Denle para adelante que aquí estoy para ayudarlo a todo el mundo. No hay, na, no hay un mejor sitio que el hogar de uno, el propio hogar de uno. So, piénselo. Con la ayuda de Roberta, todo se va a poder. Gracias. All right. And you don't just have to abas español to work with Elmer. You just have to know that you want to um, work with him. He's a fabulous guy. and He's well on his way. And many of you have seen his story. And you're going to see him continually transform to see what God has done and what he's doing in his life. And let his life be a testimony of what God can do despite your situations, despite the things that are against you. Let me just let you know, God has people everywhere. Everywhere. People that you know and people you do not know. Elmer did not know me prior to this. He did not know me. But God knew me. And God knew him. So there's some things that you may be going after. And you need to make sure that, that one, you do the right thing at all times. Because every action, as I tell my children... Every action has a consequence, whether good or bad, and whether now or later, and it does not just affect you. Case in point, every action has a, every action has a consequence. He did a good action. A consequence was good because now we got him in training and we did a lot of other things for him. And it happened now or later. It happened back then and it's still happening now. 
and it doesn't just affect him. And what I mean by that is this affected his mother all the way in Puerto Rico, who was over 12,000 miles away. She was able to be reunited with her son because he did the right thing with his check. He was able to be reunited with his sister, who he didn't see in years, because he did the right thing returning his check. He found a niece that he did that that um, was to his late brother, his late brother who passed away, who he promised his brother that he's going to look out for his niece, and then he lost connection with his niece. And because of this one situation of him returning his check and was on national television, he was reunited with the niece so that he could make good on the promise that he kept to his brother who since passed away. So you understand that God, one, does not forget anything. And that you just have to continually do the right thing and sow good seeds. And the media didn't put it out there, but I'll put it out there. He found checks, a whole bunch of checks before. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> you found a whole bunch of checks before. Yes, I did. But nothing happened with those checks, right? Mm -hmm. You want to tell them what was happening? What happened? Well, I just returned them, mm -hmm. but you know, never got nobody. Nobody ever got in contact with me. You know, even that I left some notes. Mm -hmm. You know, um, nobody ever got in contact with me. So mm -hmm. I don't know. Um, it's, I think this. I think this check was the the. the I think it was the right. The, the perfect one. God put it there for a reason. Mm -hmm. Like I always mm -hmm. say, God did it for a reason. And and the, this was the biggest check you found, right? Yes. Okay. So here, this is my point. So my point about doing the right thing all the time, even the little things. Now, Elmer found checks. How many checks did you find? Like two. You found two or three. Two or three prior to finding mine. Now, first, I never found a check. So, <laughs> <laughs> so this obviously was his test. And so... This is what this is how God moves and this is what I want you to take from this life Eve, so that you can be in tune with what God is doing and so that you don't miss your blessing. He could have easily missed his blessing and not even know. So what happened is he found do you remember the amounts of the check? 500. One was 500 and what was the other one? The other one was like 400 and something, almost 500. Okay, both of them were around 500. One was 5 and one was in the 400s. And so he did the right thing with those checks. And so biblical, biblically correct, God wants to see what you do with the little before he puts you master over much. And so that's, that's the Bible, what you do over the little before he makes you master over much. And so those little checks, even though those seem to be big checks, the 500 and the 400, those were tests to see if he did the right thing. And so God gave him the big one. And so now, Elmer, show me what you made of. See, people could show up in, with words, but the character of the person shows up in action. And so this was the test. Now, Elmer, show me your character. Show me what's in you. And so because you continue to do the right thing, because you continue to do the right thing that, you know, hold on one second, hold on one second. Because he did the right thing, right? That's when God blessed. That's when God moved. That's when God opened up all of these doors. We've been on national television, in Espanol, in English. We've, we've been over, done so many interviews, all because he did the right thing. And then I will be remiss to say that God answers prayers. And I met your mom, and she came and she cried on my shoulder. She says, thank you for letting God use you because I've been praying for my son, and I wanted to see my son. See, hit... God was still answering a mother's prayer. So mothers, when you praying for your children, no matter what situation they're in, no matter what's stacked against them, no matter if you feel like they're lost, it doesn't matter. If you are praying for your child, know that God answers mother's prayers because he surely answered his mother's prayers. She wanted to see her baby, didn't necessarily have the resources to make it happen. But because of this, Telemundo found his mother and brought her in all expense paid to be reunited with her son. And that was God answering her prayers. So I don't have to tell you that this was about more than a check. This is life changing. This is God sending a message. This is about the, the power of compassion, the compassion of Christ, the power of doing the right thing, sowing seeds and um, sowing good seeds and that God always keeps his promises. So. Elmer, again, congratulations. Um, I'm very proud of you.
and this is the beginning you got another step we're gonna make sure you get through and um, even with that the same thing here if you don't pass that you're gonna take it over and over and over until we get you to join um, outreach realty and the clients that are waiting for you um, that's your that's gonna be your stream of income the clients that's waiting for you yes you, and, and and just so you know even if you're not ready to buy a house we do have a mortgage readiness program where we can help people regardless of your credit score regardless of where you are financially we can help you get to where you want to be in home ownership uh, there's no obstacles that we cannot conquer as it relates to real estate um, here at Outreach Realty. Um, so you can be in the pipeline, get ready for Elmer when he gets his um, license and be a blessing, all right? All right, so I want, that's the morning inspiration. This is, well, it's afternoon. This is afternoon morning inspiration. <laughs> so be encouraged. Anything you want to say? Thank you, everybody. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. He's my boss. <laughs> He's our Thank boss. You. Our boss. Our <laughs> boss. <laughs> Thank you. All right, bye, y'all. <laughs> Thank you, Roberta. You're very welcome. You're very Roberta, welcome. Um, I have somebody. Wait, hold. Oh, you are still on Facebook. We're still on live. <laughs> oh, all right guys there you have it just wanted to uh, make sure you got that fresh off the press say hey elmer hey. everyone's wishing you good good luck everyone is looking um you know they're making wonderful comments so thank you so much for your support you guys make sure you share this video so that people can see so that people can see what god is doing all right <laughs> bye i'm gonna take a picture of you